hello. Look at my hair. Actually, it's really not bad, considering I slept in like a very tight bun. Uh, let's fix this. I'll just uh, throw it in one of these. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney, and this is my life. Make sure I'm in focus. Today, I just kind of want to vlog my day. It's going to be a pretty chill day. I need to clean my apartment. It is a mess. I need to do laundry. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I just got back from the gym, showered, and got ready. So I'm doing something with my life. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about like kind of like growing up and stuff because I turned 20 in a month. And I, speaking of growing up, that's my birth control alarm. So one sec. Um, speaking of, this is, we're just hopping right in, I guess. Speaking of birth control, I've been on the pill since August and it took me a long time to adjust to it. So here's a little update. I'm doing fine. Like, I fully adjusted and I feel like it does, I feel like it's not affecting me, but I'm worried that it is and I'm not noticing, you know? But I've been thinking about trying the non-hormonal IUD, the copper one. It's called the Paragard. Um, my cousin has it and I've heard really good things about it. But I'm also scared because I finally have adjusted to my birth control and like but also I'm tired of all the fake hormones being pumped into my body like I feel like that's just so not good for you and I'm sick of taking a pill every day and I have my period twice a month so I'm just done I'm over it I'm so over it. it'll be a little bit before I get that all figured out because I wow I have so much to update you guys on I guess I am getting my wisdom teeth out um this upcoming Monday because uh, what do you mean because? I just need them out. They, okay, that was stupid. But I'm doing something a little different and I don't think I'm going to be able to vlog it. I'll probably vlog my experience like once I get home. But I'm doing like a clinical trial because it's so expensive to get your wisdom teeth out. And um, there's this place in Utah that does like clinical trials. So I'm testing drugs that are already FDA approved, but it, they're just testing like your dosage of the drug. And I went and did like this whole thing, talked to them, uh, got a physical, all that stuff to make sure I qualify for the trial. So anyway, basically the day I get my wisdom teeth out, first of all, they're not putting me under, they're just gonna numb it and take them out. And then I have to be there for basically a day and a half. So I can't even have my phone because I'm not supposed to like have contact with people and I'm not supposed to know what time it is. So I don't think I'll be able to vlog it. There's that. But I'm excited to finally get them out because I've been having some crazy uh, like dental pains because of it. And my teeth have been getting worse, like more crooked and I can't even wear my retainers anymore because my wisdom teeth are pushing my teeth and it hurts so bad to wear my retainers because it's like my wisdom teeth are pushing my teeth that way and my retainers are pushing my teeth that way. It's just like not a good combo. So I'm finally getting them out. But I was gonna say, I turned 20 on February 26th, um, so I'm no longer gonna be a teenager, which is so crazy, and there's so much that I wanna talk about that kind of like relates to that and growing up and stuff, but I don't wanna do it all just standing in my closet, so we're gonna take a moment, take a little break from talking, and I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Oh my gosh, I just walk in the bathroom and see this. So cute. I'm sure you can kind of see the mess in my closet, so I'm gonna kind of clean this up. I've been putting my sweaters and sweatshirts up there and then the cats knock them down. So it's like I'm constantly having to just clean up after them. <laughs> All right, gonna go do laundry. So I still haven't eaten and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make breakfast. I think I'm going to make some scrambled eggs and cottage cheese. That just sounds so good. Cheese. I haven't had scrambled eggs in so long. Mmm. Wow. Scrambled eggs hit different. I literally hate the yolk of eggs. I refuse to eat it. It's not good. The fried eggs, it's like I cooked the yolk all the way through and I still can barely eat it. But scrambled eggs makes it bearable. So me and Dallin worked together to clean the living room. It was a mess. But as you can see, we still have Christmas decorations up. So I'm honestly going to take those down right now. I need like a box or something. Okay, box has been attained. Alright, that was like the majority of our Christmas decorations, but um, my cousins had put this tree up while we were out of town, so I'm gonna kind of take everything down on the tree too. And then somehow we need to get rid of this tree. <laughs> Ow, it's so pokey! It's like a real tree, so it like hurts. Had to call in Dal to get the tall parts. Ow. 
It hurts, doesn't it? It's prickly. Okay, wanna help me put it outside? And here we go. Alright, I started to run the Roomba and also my laundry's done, so I'm gonna switch that over. Alright, now we can shit. Anyways, that was so dramatic. Now we can chat a little bit. How's everyone's 2021 so far? Mine so far has actually been pretty solid. I've been so happy recently, and as a lot of you guys know, I dealt a lot with mental health struggles, as like, honestly, so many of us did in 2020. It is not good for the soul to be quarantined and trapped and have no sunlight, but I've been doing a lot better. I like would like to make a video eventually on like tips on how to like, get through rough mental state of minds. But I honestly like, don't, I don't know. I, I would need to really think about it because I don't even know how I got here. At the end of summer of 2020, I was the worst I had ever been as far as mental health goes. Like panic attacks all the time, like once every other day probably, maybe once a day and depression and all that sort of stuff, not fun. And now I am so happy and I haven't dealt with any of that in a long time. So that feels like amazing. I don't know how I got here. So I don't know, like how did this happen? I don't know, but I'm really happy to be where I am. And I know I had talked a lot on my channel about feeling lost and like I didn't know what to do. And I felt like no one really cared about my channel. And I didn't even know if I wanted to do YouTube anymore, but I kind of like pushed through. And honestly, maybe this is it. When I started Vlogmas and posting every day, it like pushed me back to like when I started YouTube and I was posting every day because I just had to come up with ideas every day. And yeah, it was a little stressful, but it was so much fun because I just vlogged every day what I was doing, even if it was boring, and made it into something fun, created something out of nothing, which gave me so much motivation and purpose and happiness. <laughs> And it was so funny because I feel like I try not to base everything on like views, but um, the past couple months my views have been like the lowest they'd ever been and I felt like my channel was like dying and yet I was so happy. So I almost feel like I like needed that because I was so like connected, like my mood would go up and down as my YouTube channel went up and down and that's so like not healthy, it's not a healthy state of mind to be in. So now I feel like I can acknowledge the numbers and learn from them and use them business-wise, but I'm not mentally connected to them, which I feel like has been a struggle ever since I started YouTube. So that's been amazing. And the more positive and the more like myself and like outgoing I've been, the more people watch my videos. So it's like people are attracted to that positive energy and you get you get in what you put out in the universe. I totally believe in that. So I've been put, like trying so hard, like even some manifestation and just like constantly trying to put out positive positive vibes so that I can receive that back and I feel like it's honestly been working really well. So that's super fun and exciting for me and I just hope that I'm just going up from here like positive vibes only. <laughs> So another thing I kind of wanted to touch on was just like, I'm almost about to like not be a teenager anymore. I turned 20 in a month, February 26th, and that's crazy. Like I never thought my teenage years would end. Like they had their ups and downs, they were fun. And I also felt like, I don't know, growing up and being a teenager, I was like, are you like, do you even have fun once you're not a teenager anymore? Like in your 20s, like what what's fun about it? But Honestly, I'm so much happier and having way more fun now and I'm almost 20 than I did in high school. Like high school was fun, don't get me wrong. And yeah, it was, it was a good time, but like I was so young, like looking back, it's so weird. Cause when I was 16, I thought I knew everything and I felt like I was like so mature. And now almost being 20, now I'm like, no, you were a baby. And I'm sure when I'm like 26, I'm gonna think the same thing. I'm gonna be like, no, you were so immature when you were 20, like what were you thinking? And I'm sure people who are older than me are thinking the same thing. But you know, everyone, you just gotta do what makes you happy and live in the moment. And when you're 20, be 20. When you're 16, be 16. You don't always have to strive to be older than you are, which is something that I've kind of struggled with because I feel like my personality can be like kind of immature sometimes and maybe like seem like younger. And I obviously look really young. People always think I'm like 16. And so I always feel like I have to like dress older and act older and all this stuff. But like, I don't, I'm just gonna be myself and I'm gonna act my age. But also like kind of going along with like growing up and 
getting more mature. I've had a lot of conversations with you guys in my DMs, in my comments about like family friendly content and like growing up and like kind of straying away from that. And it's really exciting for me because I feel like I can be a little bit more myself. So like for instance, my video the other day, like preparing for my one year anniversary, I was like so nervous for some reason to show you guys like the lingerie that I had bought. But like I'm married and I'm almost 20 and that like that's normal for me and my age and for what's going on in my life like yeah I wear lingerie and I buy cute underwear and I do adult things you know so I feel like the more I can like talk about that the closer that we're gonna be because I feel like you guys are all about my age um, actually just looking at my analytics 50% of you guys are 18 to 24 23% of you are 25 to 30 and only like 7% of you are under 18 and when I started my YouTube channel it was like 80% of you were under 18 but like I've realized that we're all growing up together so we're all relating to these more like mature topics and growing up and being an adult and dealing with like real world stuff and stuff that adults deal with so yeah it's kind of fun I feel like I can kind of open up more about my life and figuring life out because yeah there's a lot I feel like a lot of you guys know that I am doing a lot of questioning in my life and like trying to figure out where I belong and what I believe in and all that so it's definitely like kind of an emotional and hard thing and it's gonna be a long journey figuring all this out and figuring out who I am but that's normal for a 20 year old for a 19, 20 year old, like that college uh, college age, like that's so normal, like trying, like questioning your beliefs and questioning who you are and figuring out who you actually are, who you want to be and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I don't have it all figured out. I definitely don't. We're all on this journey together almost, you know? So I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot about that lately and kind of wanted to share it with you guys and tell you guys that if you are feeling lost or alone, that you're not and that we are all going through this. We are we're all struggling we all have our ups and downs and none of us know everything and none of us are perfect so there's just like a little healthy reminder for you guys I'm kind of excited going into this like next year this next like kind of chapter in my life like I already have started this like adult chapter in my life you know I got married I moved out I literally own a house I also have an apartment I'm renting out my house so I'm a landlord like so weird like anyways yeah so it's kind of fun like going into this new stage of life and I've been married for a year now I'm my teenagers are about to end I'm about to be 20 even like the idea of having kids not being that far away is like what I remember being 16 and I was like yeah in like 10 years I'll have kids now it's like it could be like four years five years six years somewhere in there that I decide to have kids and that's just crazy like it's actually like sooner now than ever obviously because I'm older it's so weird growing up but it's so fun so going back to what I was saying about how I feel like more happy and free now than ever like being an adult and being in charge of yourself is so empowering and so freeing I love my parents and I love the way that I grew up and was raised and everything but moving out of my parents house honestly even like moving states away like I am far away from any of my relatives except for like a couple cousins and siblings honestly like freeing because I can now be myself and figure out who I am as my own person and with my husband obviously and I don't know just being an adult is so nice like I have my own money to spend I have my own space to do whatever I want and I have my own relationship now and like we have our own little family now and I'm not I'm not a kid anymore it's so weird like I still feel like I'm 16 I I look 16 <laughs> but I don't know it's just crazy that I'm almost 20 and like that's still so young obviously in the big scheme of things but yeah it's kind of fun and like experimenting in the adult world is definitely like fun and interesting and exciting because you know there isn't anyone really like telling you what you can and can't do like it's literally all up to your own morals and I don't know it's just it's fun it's crazy it's exciting and I feel like we're all kind of like in that same space and figuring that out so yeah I just wanted to mention it talk about it acknowledge it and like Let's keep having lots of fun together, having good life talks. Um, tell me where you guys are in life. How old are you? Are you in school right now? Are you working full time? Um, do you still live at home? Are you living by yourself? Do you have roommates? Like, tell me all those fun details. Cause I just want to know like where we all are. Cause it's kind of crazy when I was like six, anyone who watched me who was my age pretty much related. Like we were all in high school and we all lived with our family. And now it's like, there's so many different paths of life. Like some of us are working full time. Some of us are in college. 
some of us still live at home, some of us have roommates, some of us are married, some of us have kids maybe? I don't know, like it's crazy. Being this like upcoming adult age, so many different paths to take, and like how do you know which one to take? I don't know, couldn't tell you. That's the fun part, is you gotta figure it out on your own and live it up because you're only in your 20s once. That is my talk, that's what I wanted to catch up on. Um, I actually would love to start doing more personal videos, um, so comment down below like videos that you've been interested and seeing for me I would like to do like a girl talk video soon and talk about you know like girl things and I don't know just more like mature audience videos as in like you know like girl talk or TMI talk whatever you want to call it so that people don't feel as alone and we can all like relate together so anyway that's it and thank you guys for listening to me ramble so I realized I never like ended this vlog and I was gonna keep vlogging but then I didn't do anything the rest of the day so that's kind of it and I have some really fun videos coming soon so stay tuned I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye